so you're able to trigger Niagara effects in Unreal Engine using Ableton Live. But how do you have the effects spawn in random locations so you don't have to manually place everything all the time? Well, with a couple additional modifications to the blueprint we built in the last tutorial, getting everything set up with a random point and bounding box node is a quick and easy task. But first, some prerequisites in order to get things started. The first thing needed in order to begin are some blueprint templates supplied by the SEM and Tris AV Club. They've already gone through the headache of getting some custom blueprints up and running, along with some Macs for Live devices that convert MIDI data into OSC data for Unreal using your computer's port and IP address. Secondly, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using the free Realistic Starter VFX Pack Volume 2 from the Epic Marketplace. Now that you have all the necessary variables, we can begin. So to get started, let's add a box collision in the components tab on the left side of the screen. This box allows us to define the volume at which the Niagara system will spawn within. Next, let's delete what we initially had for the location input, as this needs to be updated with the random point and bounding box node, along with the get components bounds node. Once we have these two nodes in the blueprint and hooked up to the spawn system at location node, we can then drag in the box variable that we created earlier. Once in the blueprint, plug it into the get components bound node, and then everything should be good to go when it comes to the location spawning. But what if we wanted more than one Niagara effect to fire off every time a mini note is received? Well, no worries there. Add a for loop node and insert it between the branch and spawn system at location nodes. Next, we'll come over to the left side of the screen and click on the plus sign as seen on the variables tab. This will add a new variable that will then rename to spawn amount. After that, change the variables pin type to integer. This allows us to cleanly select whole numbers for the purpose of defining how many Niagara effects should spawn upon receiving a MIDI trigger. From there, Click on the eyeball symbol so it's exposed on the outside of the blueprint. Then, drag the variable into the blueprint while selecting Get Spawn Amount. Once inside, connect the object to the last index input on the for loop node. Once all of that is hooked up, click on the Spawn Amount node and set the default value to 1 in the Details panel on the right side of the screen. After that's done, go back to the for loop node and set the first index value to 1 as well. To finish things off, if you wish to change the bounding box size, all you have to do is go to the details panel on the right side of the screen when in the editor. Then scroll down until you see the box component. Once that's selected, you can then freely alter the bounding box in whatever shape you'd like using the scale option, a 3D box, a 2D plane, whatever works best on your end. With all of that taken care of, you should now be able to trigger one or multiple Niagara effects at random positions with a set bounding box using MIDI data sent by Ableton Live. If anyone has any questions or ideas for future videos that I'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thanks!